Now, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has pledged to de-radicalize radicalize and educate youths and women on the dangers of substance abuse in order to safeguard their lives and future careers. This commitment was made by Brigadier General Buba Mawa, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of the agency, during a de-radicalization campaign against drug and substance abuse. Now, the event was organized by Global Peace and Life Rescue in collaboration with the Defense Headquarters and took place in Zaria, Kaduna State, Northwest, Nigeria. Speaking on behalf of the NDLEA Chairman, Deputy Director Narcotics, Abuba Kagarba highlighted the severe physical, mental and social dangers of drug addiction. The Emir of Zauzau, Nuhu Bamali, also expressed concern over the growing number of drug addicts in Zaria. Drug education is very, very important. That is why we don't hesitate in making sure that we always pass the necessary information. We highlight and educate the general public on the dangers associated with substance, drug and substance abuse. Treatment and rehabilitation of drug dependent person. Starting from home, that is home training, is very, very important. Making sure that we groom our team youth, engaging them in one skills or the other, that will make their self reliance, sending them to school so that at least they will have education and be better and responsible members of the society. Those that are already into this substance, drug and substance uh, abuse, then maybe you have to liaise with the appropriate uh, institution to make sure that he is being rehabilitated and at least reunited back to the society. From our findings, most of the conflict we've seen in northern Nigeria and Nigeria is drug related. If you find that in every compound, what we have now is an alarming rate where out of 10 children, 4 or 5 persons are doing drug. That's not good for our society. So, the Global Peace and Life Initiative brought out this initiative in partnership with Defense Headquarters to ensure that we go around the state to censor Nigerian youth on the need to shun drug abuse. And in fact, victim of drug and how to de-radicalize and also rehabilitate them. The issue that triggers youth for violence in the country today is drug related. The uses of drug is too much. Let me give you an instance. If a person is using drug, if he doesn't get that drug, he's going to do everything possible, including committing offense to go into this drug. So it's one of the problems we are trying to contain in Nigeria today. Now, some youth who participated in the exercise shared their thoughts on drug abuse and the negative impact on their lives. The effect of drug abuse to the youth, it costs, maybe, it costs still, because when you are addicted to drugs and you don't have money to purchase that drugs, we are going to steal to buy the drugs. It causes drop out from the school. It causes mental health. And it causes so many things, those so women that are pregnant. And it can also affect their babies that they are carrying. The rate of drug abuse are from our own locality. Let me say, it took him like, because the most effect that we are facing right now is the sea under it. Not even 18 years plus, it's under it that we see young, young children, like, their age will be died of 15, 16. They are abused. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.